a couple of uh, updates here on our program. Uh, my name is uh, Dirk Meyer. I'm the session chair for uh, the session B, which will take place in this room here between now and, and before we have uh, lunch. Uh, we do have a change in keynote speaker. Uh, Ms. Mavu was not able to be with us. And so if you go to uh, page 19, uh, Mr. Fujun Lee will be giving the keynote address here during this session, and I'll introduce him here in a moment. But uh, he was to give a keynote uh, later in the week on uh, uh, Tuesday morning, and so we're glad that he's able to uh, do it here uh, this morning. We appreciate that. And then also our uh, last speaker scheduled uh, at 12.05, uh, Dr. Theresa Sherman was not able uh, to be here with us either, and so we have a, a presentation uh, from the uh, uh, Vice Chancellor of uh, Rajendra uh, Agriculture University in Bihar, who will speak about post-harvest loss in India uh, specifically. So those are a couple of changes to uh, the program here this morning. So, okay. I'd like to uh, remind everybody is that uh, we will have the session recorded. I'm not quite sure what we'll do with, with that or whether that, I'm, I'm assuming these sessions will be available uh, on the website of the uh, Post Harvest Loss Innovation uh, Prevention uh, ADM Institute from University of Illinois. And uh, just remind us too that uh, the keynote presentation will be about 25 to 30 minutes in length. We're trying to have one or two questions. Uh, if not, we'll try to have everybody that is speaking in that session at the end on, on a panel, but well, my preference would be that we give each of the speakers an opportunity for the audience to ask one or two questions without then bringing everybody up to the front. As you know, we're running a little bit behind this morning uh, already. Uh, and then the uh, other presentations are all about 15 minutes in length, and so I'd like to encourage each of the presenters maybe to aim for about 12 to 13 minutes in the presentation, so leave about a minute or two so that we can open up for some questions. And I'll sit up here to kind of give you some reminders in terms of uh, with the time. Okay, with that I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Fujun Lee. Again on page 19 you can uh, give a, uh, get a summary of his uh, uh, affiliation responsibilities, but he's with the uh, State Administration of uh, Grain in China. and. Uh, uh, definitely one organization that if you have not traveled to China or if you've been in China have not visited uh, with that organization, uh, it's an excellent, important uh, organization within China uh, in support of uh, strategic grain reserves and other important research that takes place uh, for reduction of post-harvest loss, food security, and other aspects. And so we appreciate you being willing to present this morning, and we look forward uh, to your presentation, Mr. Fujian Li. Good morning, everyone. It's my honor to be the keynote speaker in this morning. So uh, I'd like to talk about uh, the grain post-harvest uh, issues in China. Uh, in China, the grain, uh, it's including uh, soybeans also, uh, not only wheat, uh, meat, rice, and the soybeans. So I'm from the uh, Academy of State Administration of Gray. Uh, it's a non-profit institute uh, on post-harvest researchers. Uh, I'd like to talk about the post-harvest losses situation in China and uh, how to reduce the losses and uh, the uh, future priorities. So uh, this is uh, the situation China's grain production uh, in the world. Uh, we, uh, oh, sorry, uh, the, for, for the farmland, uh, China accounted 99% uh, of the world. For the population, it's uh, 19%. And uh, crop production is nearly uh, 25 percent. So, uh, for 
uh, post-harvest uh, uh, issues is a very important issue in China, also in the world, because, uh, sorry, it's account uh, almost uh, one quarter uh, production in the world. We, uh, in uh, 2014, uh, we produced uh, uh, <coughs> 6 million tons grapes, but meanwhile we have to import nearly 100 million tons. So uh, because of the uh, reduce of uh, cultivated land, fresh water resources, and uh, the damage of ecological environment, so it's more and more difficult to feed our population. Okay. Uh, uh, it's more and more difficult to feed uh, the populations in China. Uh, with our productions, we have to import a lot of foods. But the post-harvest losses is still very serious. Uh, there are 250 million tons uh, are uh, storaged by farmers every year. According uh, our research, the farmers' storage losses nearly 20 million tons every year. Okay, sorry. So uh, it's the, the losses is uh, counted 8% uh, 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 total uh, farmer storage quantities. And uh, for different species, the rate is different. For corn, uh, it's nearly 11%. And fatty rice, 6.5%. Uh, for wheat, it's nearly 5%. But in diff, uh, different uh, regions, uh, the post-harvest losses is different. In meat production area, Northeast China is nearly 50%. And uh, the reasons uh, uh, cause the post-harvest is uh, uh, mainly from rents and the mold and uh, the pests. Uh, it's also uh, the quality losses uh, in the post-harvest uh, sectors. Uh, nutrition uh, value losses, uh, caloric value, and uh, edibility uh, losses. Uh, storage, uh, fungi, and moths can uh, cause mycotoxins uh, uh, serious in uh, post harvest. Uh, uh, th th that's the uh, more the uh, maize year. And uh, okay. uh, the fa the mycotoxins uh, from the post harvest, uh, including uh, the AFB. Uh, Dong, Zing, uh, OTA, and uh, FB. Uh, so there are 210 uh, million uh, farmers in China to produce and uh, storage uh, grass. The average capacity of uh, grass storage is uh, 1,000 uh, kilograms. And uh, the large scale farmers is five to 10 uh, tons. Uh, but uh, in uh, past uh, five years, we uh, are developing bigger farmers. The storage uh, 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 will get to 1,000 tons. Uh, so to reduce the Farmer losses uh, in China is very uh, important strategies for food security. So, 
uh, uh, I'd like to uh, introduce the uh, strategies we made in the past years uh, to reduce the post-harvest. Yeah, uh, they, uh, in China, uh, central government, uh, we uh, pay uh, most attention or lost uh, our, uh, our provision post-harvest. Uh, we, sorry, uh, in 2013, uh, central government uh, issued uh, the command of the fight against the food uh, waste. And uh, in uh, 2014, uh, central government issued uh, the construction play, uh, construction play for great security on purchase, uh, storage, and supply. Uh, we set up uh, the uh, targets or post-harvest uh, losses provision and uh, the measures uh, also be uh, proposed. Our target is uh, uh, reducing uh, more than 30 million tons of grain losses during the post-harvest uh, every year. Uh, uh, that means, uh, that means uh, the total post-harvest losses will be reduced more than 40%. And uh, uh, the measures are, uh, including uh, <coughs> during the purchase, storage, uh, transportation, uh, processing, and uh, consumption, uh, in also including uh, state grid depots and uh, farmers. In recent years, uh, the government filed a, a project uh, to help sm small farmers uh, to uh, advise their facility. From 2007 to 2014, uh, there are uh, 8 million new facility facilities were produced to small farmers. Uh, which will reduce the householders' grain loss uh, nearly uh, zero 0.9 million tons. Uh, that means reduce the uh, grain losses rate from 8 to 8% 8 to 2%, uh, save, save uh, 6%. The quantity of the saved grain, uh, it uh, will increase uh, the production of 113,000 hectares uh, land. So uh, the, uh, the below is the uh, uh, facilities uh, we uh, sent to the small farmers in different uh, regions for different uh, species. Uh, the projects uh, 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 set up for, for uh, different farmers in different facilities. So this kind of uh, small beans is made of uh, steel, uh, color, uh, color plated uh, uh, steel. It's uh, uh, mainly used in middle and si south China for wheat and uh, paddy rice. Uh, this kind of beam uh, is uh, thermal insulation steel beam. It's mainly used in uh, South China. And uh, this uh, is for uh, maize ear and maize. It's not uh, uh, mainly used in Northeast China. Uh, it's also uh, in Northeast China uh, for uh, Made years storage, uh, uh, and uh, this kind of facilities is for large scale farmers. Uh, it can be uh, ventilation uh, and uh, can be 
uh, combined uh, when by when uh, from uh, 20 twins to 40 twins to 60 twins to 80 twins. So uh, uh, above is about uh, uh, the, the, the projects for uh, small farmers. And uh, the second uh, is for state grade reforms. Uh, we pro we uh, have uh, four in one uh, great storage technologies uh, for great pond storage. Uh, you know, in China, uh, for great uh, for great pond, uh, especially in uh, uh, public uh, great pond, the uh, mainly facility is uh, warehouse. It's nearly uh, uh, eighty-five percent uh, uh, the total capacity. Uh, the single warehouse capacity is about uh, uh, six uh, about uh, three thousand to five thousand twins, and uh, we also have uh, squat. Uh, squat uh, uh, salads and uh, salads. For squat salads, uh, the single uh, single capacity is uh, uh, from uh, three thousand to uh, ten ten thousand twins per uh, per sale. For this kind of salads, uh, the single salads capacity is from uh, 1,000 to uh, 3,000. So uh, in the warehouse, uh, we took a new technology named the uh, 4-in-1 technical system. It's including uh, ventilation system, monetary and uh, analysis system, uh, recirculation formulation with low dose first speed system and a great chilling system. So, so. For uh, these four kind of uh, technologies, we combine together in one warehouse uh, to keep the, keep the great storage safety. Uh, it's uh, very useful to uh, for great long-term storage, especially for uh, state and uh, provincial uh, long-term storage, uh, great, uh, we call the state reserves. Uh, recent, uh, uh, in last year, we produced uh, uh, the new system for ventilation. Uh, that means uh, we change the change the ventilation duct uh, from a uh, vert vertical system to transfer system. Uh, in the past, the ventilation duct is uh, on the ground of warehouse. Now we change, uh, change it to the wall or the wall. Uh, that uh, will uh, let the warehouse uh, to easily operation during a lot and uh, out of the grace. And uh, it's more uh, useful on great long term storage, especially for uh, keep the, keep the water during the storage, uh, not too long, too much. You know, for very long-term storage uh, due to the ventilation, the moisture content loss is uh, having problems. So uh, for transfer system, we can reduce the uh, moisture content losses for long-term storage. Uh, this is the uh, ventilation uh, duct. Uh, uh, this is uh, the main duction and this is uh, the branch duction. Uh, 
the uh, airflow will from this side to that side. Uh, this is a new uh, technology system we uh, developed it. Uh, it's including uh, the uh, vertical uh, pipers and uh, multi-parameter uh, detection systems and uh, paste uh, and mode control systems. We use three new technologies which including uh, inert dust in the dust and uh, uh, air, uh, uh, air uh, uh, atmosphere control with neat uh, uh, roger and uh, uh, low, uh, low, low dose, start low dose uh, first thing. And uh, we use uh, uh, negative pressure uh, ventilation grade chillings. So uh, all of all of these new updated uh, uh, technology systems is a uh, new green, uh, low carbon, eco-friendly, and uh, intelligent grid storage technologies. So uh, for the future uh, priority, the challenges are still exist uh, uh, in China for uh, provision the post harvest losses, uh, including uh, quantity losses, quality losses, and uh, ecological losses. Uh, due to the uh, urbanization and uh, agriculture modernizations, so there will uh, be lack of land uh, for farmers to sun dry lack of laborers to clean, dry, and uh, storage uh, well uh, grass in their house. And uh, there will be more uh, large-scale farmers emerging. But for large-scale farmers, uh, there will uh, be more productions and uh, more risk of losses. Uh, sorry. Okay. So uh, the most important priority in China is to help uh, small farmers and uh, big scale farmers to uh, pro to provision post harvest. But we have to reform the post harvest uh, uh, purchase policies and models and uh, we have to renew the facilities uh, for, uh, for large-scale farmers. Uh, we are lack of such kind of <coughs> facilities and technologies for large-scale farmers. So uh, first of all, uh, we have to uh, uh, research and develop all the uh, great storage and uh, logistic uh, systems for farmer, uh, for farmers. Uh, because uh, the land scale management, uh, there are farmer cooperation groups, uh, farmer herders, and uh, big scale farmers are emerging. So uh, the great uh, storage for uh, large scale farmers uh, will more difficult. Uh, that means there will be more more and uh, more toxic, uh, more pollutions uh, to the grey and uh, grey quality. And uh, uh, in big farmers, there are more rats to damage the uh, grey grey storage. So uh, we need to develop drying and cleaning facilities. Uh, for them, there are uh, uh, different uh, kind of uh, facilities for large-scale farmers. Uh, uh, this uh, is uh, uh, new de developed uh, farmer farmer steel beams, uh, and uh, this is for uh, mobile dryers. 
for small farmers. We can uh, move these dryers from this village to another village to serve our farmers. And uh, uh, government will continue uh, support small farmers uh, to renew their uh, facilities. Uh, uh, the facilities just like uh, I introduced uh, uh, before. So, uh, but uh, uh, con uh, considering the great uh, uh, qualities uh, and uh, uh, farmers' incomes, we need uh, for sorry for uh, different uh, uh, scales, uh, scales, different kind of grass and different purpose use different uh, facilities. So it's very important uh, to develop and apply new kinds of units for, for uh, storage. Uh, we are going to change the grey purchase and uh, storage uh, models from uh, uh, dispersive storage to concentri uh, concentrated storage from mixed uh, storage to classic field storage. Uh, what mean mixed uh, storage? It's me, sorry. Okay. Uh, mixed storage, uh, it means uh, for different uh, uh, level of con uh, uh, protein contents, uh, it should be uh, uh, storage in different facilities, but uh, in China now we uh, store them in same uh, warehouse. So for farmers, there are no uh, different values for different uh, uh, protein contents. So, uh, so how to uh, solve the problems with small farmers? The best way. Uh, is to exert uh, the ad, uh, exert the advantage <coughs> of uh, great ports, uh, including public and uh, private sectors, uh, for farmers to concentrate uh, uh, drying, cleaning, and uh, storage. Uh, we call the, this new uh, more new purchase model is. Uh, uh, no any extra logistic node mode. Uh, that's the roadmap for this uh, the, the, the new kind of purchase mode. We can uh, directly uh, send, send, uh, send uh, the grass from the field to grey uh, depots. Uh, it's needed to uh, uh, take the grass first to the farmer uh, house, uh, then uh, pack it and uh, uh, trans uh, transport uh, to the uh, grey deposits or 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 mills. So uh, we are trying to reform the uh, purchase models. Uh, uh, directly from harvest uh, to grey depots. Okay, I see. Okay, so uh, for because uh, they are uh, uh, enough uh, facilities for state grey depots in storage capacity and uh, dryer capacity. You know, uh, in this year, uh, China uh, is. Uh, uh, invested uh, by central government uh, to construct uh, construct uh, construct uh, 60 million new facility, uh, uh, and uh, also uh, we built a new uh, dryer for, uh, uh, dryer facilities. So, uh, sorry. Uh, so, uh, most uh, so uh, we should uh, change the. Uh, uh, purchase and uh, storage models to con uh, concentrate storage models. Uh, the third question is about uh, the quality uh, control provisions. 
in this year, uh, China issued uh, the new food safety law. It's the most uh, uh, stringent in the uh, history. So according to this law, uh, we will uh, we'll set up a, a traceability system for food quality. And uh, uh, we are also develop a rapid, a rapid detection and biosafety disposal of market toxin and heavy metals uh, gray technology. So uh, in this new uh, kind of technologies, uh, we get uh, a lot of results. Uh, we ha uh, had uh, developed uh, sinker runners detection technologies uh, for a variety of uh, market toxins and uh, pollution elements, uh, especially heavy metal. And uh, for market toxin degradation technologies, uh, we also uh, get the results for wheat and uh, corn. So uh, this kind of technologies uh, successfully uh, tried uh, will uh, help farmers to uh, greatly reduce the damage of uh, food quality and uh, lower the cost, uh, lower the loss caused uh, uh, by the uh, market toxin and the income the farmers, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, farmers income will decrease, uh, increase. And uh, the technology break uh, through also can provide uh, the effective use of great resource. So uh, uh, come back to our uh, <coughs> prevention post-harvest uh, losses targets. Uh, our target is uh, reduce 30 million tons of grain losses during the post harvest uh, in, China, in, in all of all of the country. That means it, it will uh, uh, increase uh, 2.4 million hectares of fertilized land and save 10 billion tons water and uh, save. Uh, 0 0.79 million uh, tons fertilized and uh, increase farmers' income nearly 30 billion RMB. So uh, there's a poem, a poem in China. Uh, the name is Tolling Farmers. At noon, they wait with horse. Their sweat drips on the soil. Each boss of rice, who knows? is the fruit of hard toy. Thank you very much. Let's take one question. Anybody want to ask a question? the question if I understood correctly you're referring to the traditional earthen yes. earthen stone type of silos which I think you had in China mm -hmm. as well have you eliminated use it trying to use those in your plant uh -huh. because you prevented metal silos <laughs> yeah yeah uh, we uh, uh, metal silos for small farmers just uh, but uh, we are encourage farmers uh, don't storage too much uh, uh, grace in their house, uh, just the center to uh, great pots. So uh, uh, in the past uh, five years, uh, we uh, sent uh, the, uh, this kind of uh, steel beans to uh, farmers. But uh, next five years, we will focus on the concentrated uh, storage. Uh, 
thank you very much. I, I know that we all would like to ask a lot more questions, and unfortunately we don't have time to do that, but the advantage of the next couple days is that you get to know each other and can ask uh, questions directly of any of the 